Hello guys, my name is Simgun, and today I'll be showing you guys a little gameplay of the Ferdinand. It's your 8 German tank destroyer, and this tank destroyer is pretty awesome. You have a good choice of tank destroyers at tier 8 in the, the German TDs. You have the Borsink, you have the Jagdpanzer 2, and you have the Ferdinand at tier 8. You also have the Jagdtiger 8.8, .8, uh, but that's the premium version, and the Jagdtiger 8.8 .8 is pretty bad in my opinion. I do not like that tank at all. But you had the Ferdinand, and in my opinion, this is probably the best choice. Or it's or the Ferdinand or the Borsig. I don't enjoy the Yak Panther whatsoever. The Yak Panther, well, it's I don't I enjoy it. It's okay, but I know I can do more with the Borsig and the Ferdinand, so I enjoy those things a little bit more than the Yak Panther too. So, as you guys can see, I am playing on South Coast, and this map is a campy map. It's as simple as that. I'm not gonna lie about it. This camp is cam this map is campy, and um, yeah. I cannot do much about that, so I will be playing mostly uh, on this map campy because I really have no choice whatsoever. I put a shot into the AMX, the 110 is pushing out as well, shoot him, but the shot goes low and hits the ground, so I really get unlucky with that. Tiger was showing his side, but I wasted my shot on the 110, so I could not do much about that. Of course, um, if you like camping and you like sniping, um, you will enjoy this map, and you will enjoy the same because this tank, when it comes to camping and sniping, it does a hell of a job, and you guys will see why. You guys know me as a very aggressive player, and you guys know that I really enjoy playing aggressive and playing with medium tanks. But you will learn a new side of me. I can enjoy tank destroyers if they do perform well. Um, it's not my best play style, but I can still play pretty damn good from camping. Uh, at least in my opinion, and this game will show that for sure. Um, at the moment, there is nothing much going on. Our, the left side is pushing, the zero line is getting pushed uh, by our teammates, and the enemies are pushing it as well, so I'm trying to help it out as much as I can. Um, at the moment, I'm doing a pretty good job of it. I shot already three targets so far, and I killed one of them, so I'm pretty happy about that. One ten is pushing up. But he does not show me his side, so I get unlucky. At the moment, I'm just trying to find a shot upon somebody. Uh, and shoot the AMX, but he died before my shot could even reach him. 110 is just sitting there. Tiger 1 is showing his armor here. I shoot once, but it does not connect to the target. It actually goes into the house, so I was kind of unlucky with that. And yeah, probably in my opinion, the Borsig is probably the best camper because the Borsig will, is smaller profile, so it gets better camouflage. But and later on in the game, you will see why I like the Ferdinand more because mainly I can actually bounce shots, and the Borsig cannot do that, not at all. As you guys can see, the, their team has a Borsig, and you will see later on a fight between me and the Borsig, and you will see. What, will actually wi will win that fight. 110 gets spotted, shoot him in the side, and here we go. 3 kills, 2.2k damage, a pretty good game so far. The zero line is clear, it's only one uh, light tank left, so I'm not gonna waste too much time on it and try to push this E50. D20 prototype is also going this way. Amix is falling back. He could probably spot me right, right about now. But I really don't care because the zero line is empty. So even if I would get spotted, their team could not do much about it. Um, so yeah, I go down, aim for this guy, shoot him in the side, get a roll, 2.6k damage. Um, the guy is a one shot, and it's pretty much game over. He kind of pushed too far with his tank. There was really no need for that. And yeah, it's now 7-7. Seven, seven. It's equal at the moment, uh, but it can still all go to shit, of course. So, I've been camping for the most game on the uh, C7, D7 position, and this position is really, really good for tank destroyers, believe me. It is a camping position, I get that, but it's a good position. It's as simple as that, it is a good position, and if I can if I can know I can perform well in a position like this one, I will try to stay as long as I can until I have no other option, and I actually need to push up. Put a shot into the, the WZ120, put a shot into the scout as well, that was probably a hit, and I'm just trying to spot as much people as I can. I know there is also a PK here somewhere. 
and I'm trying to use, use as much of my binos as possible because with the finos I have binos I have 460 view range and that is a lot. Uh, luckily, I'm getting reported for base camping, so hey, we have that going for ourselves in life. <laughs> um, yeah, like I don't understand. Like I understand base camping is not a way to go, but. If I go out in the open with this tank, right, if I go out in the open and there is a medium tank or a light tank that can just get around me, it is game over for me. As simple as that. So, you need, in my opinion, sometimes not every TD needs to camp, like, uh, some people overdo it, um, others camp at the right point and they start pushing later on, of course. And it's totally understandable, but like, if I push forward, I will die, it's as simple as that, so I need to camp to survive and get some damage going. Um, and yeah, at the moment nothing really is happening, there's an EMX and a Tiger 2, and a Borsig down on the F2 position, so I'm kinda just hoping to get a spot upon those guys. I'm moving a lot, so I'm not making my binus work. I push up, spot the security meal. Um, Aim for the guy, 470 average damage, good roll below my average, but hey, it's something. Double hit 120 shoots, but he completely misses his shot. Hits the uh, building instead, and now I'm gonna push on him, hopefully kill the guy, and from there I'm gonna go up to the F2 position, or at least I will try to go down that position. So I'm pushing up here, the tier 9 a medium tank is spotted, he is a one shot, so I'm not scared of taking one shot in return to kill him. He gets killed before I even can do something about it by the common player, the tier 7 tank. Good shot by him. Ferdinand is in C8, um, kind of annoying, can't really do much about that. Borsa gets spotted, and yeah, you will see why and what I meant The Ferdinand is better in close combat, because in close combat, I have armor, he doesn't have any. There we go. My shots are being completely trashed because I'm not aiming them. I am just clicking the the the, um, the, bu the button like a retard. He bounces again. We put a good shot into him. 540 damage. Really, really good roll. And yeah, he's now a one shot, so I'm not really scared of him that much. And now I can actually push up on the Borsig and hopefully get the kill. And yeah, two of the bounces happened right here. He did not aim. He well, he, he aimed a little bit, I guess, but the bow chance went into my gun mantle. If the guy would aim for my side cheeks, he would probably kill me by now. But he didn't do it, he took his shots too fast, and that's the reason why I'm still alive by now. Killed the Borsink, and yeah, the Borsink is good when it comes to camping, but I can do the same thing in my Ferdinand. But when it comes to close combat, the Ferdinand is the better choice, in my opinion. The guy could have aimed better there, really. He could have probably penned me if he aimed better, but he did not do that, so it was kind of his own mistake on dying there, really. Um, I'm going to the F2 position to spot the AMX or the Tiger, or at least try to spot those guys. But of course, none of them are here anymore, so yeah, rip me and rip my choice. There you go, Tiger 2 is spotted, he is in the K5 position. And type as well is spotted. Um, I'm gonna try a random shot on the guy. No luck, of course, because I took that, that shot way too long. And he actually managed to get away. But he is still going down this way. I know that for a fact. So I'm just trying to spot him. Um, he's not getting spotted on the tree line, so he's somewhere on the four or the five line. So I'm, s I'm starting to pre aim on this position, hoping to actually get the guy. And yeah, the comet is pushing up as well. And there you go, the scout is spotted. I kinda aim, I don't really aim that shot at all, I just kinda just shoot, he just went straight into my shot there, and I kill him off. 4.8k damage, 5 kills, a pretty awesome game so far. I have no idea where the AMX is, um, the AMX is, he was, last position where he was spotted in this was in F2, but at the moment I have no idea where the guy is. Uh, I only have one EP shot left, and it's all EPCR and 4 EGE. So I will be using some gold later on, but I don't really have an option because I only have gold left. I can also fire it cheap, and that will be completely not effective. Uh, I know the Tiger 2 is going somewhere up here, so I'm going up this way to go against this guy. Um, and yeah, like, I don't know, the Ferdinand is, in my opinion, the, probably the better choice. Didn't aim that shot, just shot. Kind of trusted the RNG gods to take the shot over. But of course, I bounce. Surprise, surprise. Shot, this shot does go in, 460 uh, average, 
pretty bad roll. The 490 is average on this tank, and I really got unlucky with that. Go for strikes, 470. And the Tiger 2 pens me again. He is penning me in my turret here. He is really being lucky with that. And I was also looking like, how are you penning me, bro? You're being really lucky with that. So I go hold down completely, then I aim for his turret. He bounces, and I finish him out. There we go. And I actually secure my top gun as well. Six skills, six key damage, and only one target left. So I, I keep on falling back because I know the EMX is somewhere around here. So I don't want him to rush me. That's why I'm backing up with my butt to a wall. Because if I do manage to spot him, or he manages to spot me, I want to have a fighting chance against him. So that's why I'm falling back like this, because I really don't have an option at the moment. Um, the enemies are saying that the AMX is on the beach. Uh, they're not saying where he is. Now, well, you say now, E1, but I don't really trust that at all. So I'm going to try and spot the area on the key line. Hopefully, I will get, spot him. But yeah, he was an E1. He was actually drowning himself because hashtag... You know, let's not even try to play the game, let's just kill ourselves. Gotta... They could probably even won that game, to be completely honest. It was the Comet and me left. I was a one-shot, and I'm not sure how much, how much the Comet even had that game, so... I don't understand why he gave up that easily. It doesn't make any sense for me whatsoever. But hey-ho, thanks Amex for killing yourself and letting us win the game. I appreciate that, I guess. Um, don't like players that just give up that that easily at the end. He could have killed me, man. That was a one shot, and the comment, you can easily clip him with six shots, so I don't understand why he gave up that fast. Doesn't make any sense to me, but hey. Gotta love them pro players, yo. But yeah, let's take a look at the after battle reports. So, here's the after battle report. See, I got East Anchor, Fire for Effect, Shell Proof, Duelist, Bruiser, Spartan, High Caliber, and Top Gun. 6.3k damage, a pretty awesome game in general. Um... It was a camping game, yes, but that's how you play that map with a TD. It is as simple as that. You cannot play the map differently. If you play it more aggressive, you will get less damage. It's as simple as that. Uh, my team performed okay-ish, I guess. Our common played well for a tier 7 tank, and the rest was like, meh, to okay. Some of our tanks failed complete, like a tier 9, and a tier 9 matchup. Tier 9 matchup getting no damage whatsoever. The ISU that just died and didn't do damage. Or the Challenger, or the tier 1 where that also died and didn't do any damage. But yeah, I was happy about the score. 6 point of damage is not bad at all. And yeah, if you guys actually did enjoy this replay, you can always leave a like, subscribe, and comment. But as usual guys, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.